Hello there. My name is Wendy Riggs, and I am excited to welcome you to Human Anatomy. This is our first video lecture for the semester for this course. And before I forget, um, I'm recording, I'm re-recording all <clears throat> the anatomy videos for this semester. And I just wanted to throw out there that the textbook that I'm using for images for these videos is the OpenStax Anatomy and Physiology textbook. This is a free and Creative Commons licensed um, textbook. You can access it, like anyone can access it anywhere for free. Here's the web address up here. If you just search OpenStax Anatomy and Physiology, you can um, come up against this thing. You can actually purchase a hard copy of this textbook for a relatively uh, inexpensive amount of money. Uh, but because it's all open and free and licensed with a Creative Commons copyright, just I'm going to use those images because um, I'm able to put those onto YouTube and not worry about copyright infringement. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you in this little clip why human anatomy is an awesome class. First of all, I think human anatomy is awesome because it's really hard. And I think when things are challenging, we're more engaged with them, and um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to be challenged. It's not fun to be overwhelmed. And you will spend a lot of this semester sort of walking that line between challenge and um, overwhelmption. That's not a word. That feeling of overwhelmed, like, ah, deer in the headlights, where do I go from here? Um, it's not going to be an unfamiliar feeling for all of your courses where you're headed. If you're going into a nursing program or a PA program, physical therapy, um, med school, wh wherever you're headed, most of you are headed into some sort of healthcare field. And the fact is that you're going to be challenged and overwhelmed. This course will give you strategies and confidence that you can do it. And if you buckle down, I will have lots of um, pep talk, the pep talks and help so that you can do that. This class is also super awesome because it's relevant. If you're going into healthcare, understanding and being able to talk about the human body is critical, right? You need to know the names of the structures if you're going to try and diagnose what's going wrong or treat what's going wrong or uh, help people maintain health. So it, it's ho hopefully, you will find that, yeah, you're into this class. And if you're not into this class, if you look at it and you're like, ah, this is horrible, I hate anatomy and physiology, you probably should seriously consider doing something else with your life because um, healthcare is this. Because you uh, are going to be overwhelmed with the class and because it matters, like, your true learning of this content matters for what you're going to do with your life. Um, the opportunity to figure out how you learn best and to fine tune your study strategies, that is, it's gold. This class is gold because you're going to come out of it knowing how you um, best get information to stick into your brain. So today, today's um, lecture, we're going to be looking at some themes in anatomy, um, themes that we're literally going to be seeing every single day in this class. And we're also going to um, introduce some terminology. I guarantee day one you will feel overwhelmed by the content that I'm going to present to you today. And um, I'm going to tell you a little hopeful thing, and that is that you'll feel overwhelmed by this content today, but in 
six lectures time when we have our first exam, you're going to look back at this content and you're going to be like, I don't even need to study it. Like, I, I know that information from the first day and I can talk about it and I don't even need to spend any time studying it. And that is, I'm just pointing to the relevance of today's content and the fact that it's worth taking the time to make sure that today's material goes in your brain and is sticking in there. Super fun, super excited. Let's get started talking about the themes that we'll have in this course.